106. 106 KMEL. As I promised, in the area tonight on the Sold Out Show, you got to let them know that it's sold out. Let them know because y'all doing big things. Tell them who's in the area tonight. Tell them. Introduce yourself to the Bay. Yo, this is Majid. This is Jordan. And we're Majid Jordan in the Bay. Welcome to the area, brothers. Thank you. Thank you What's for having us. Things have been wonderful. Y'all have had like a... I've been watching y'all. It's been a good year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know it's big on my daughter. Be like, yo, are they in town? Can I come? I know I'm not 21. Can you sneak me in? I'm like, yo, be cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I know y'all been having like yeah, a wonderful yeah. year, man. What's been yeah. good? Yo, so much, honestly, man. Even the journey out here to San Francisco has been incredible. I've always dreamed of coming here, to be honest. I always wanted to see, you know, the bay, the bridge, the city. So it's like we went out and actually saw the bridge just before we came here. So it's like a dream come true for me to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, we're just traveling. We're on the road. We're ready. We're excited. You know, the show tonight is going to be really, really cool. Um, An opportunity for us to have like an intimate moment with fans that have been waiting, some of them for three years, to, Mm -hmm. to see us live. And it's a, it's a good chance for them to put a face to the music, you know? Yeah. Is it still, like, shocking to y'all that you have fans that's, that's growing fast and so far away from home that you're like, yo? It's, it's crazy, yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy, like, what music can, can do and how far it can actually take you, you know? Like, we're just two yeah. guys who used to make music in Toronto, and now we're, we're in San Francisco with a sold-out show. So it's, like, it's crazy. Who yeah. came up with the big plan to put it together where y'all put it together? I mean, was it you? Was it him? We, or? we we when we met each other, we never really imagined the scope of where things would be a few years from where we started. Yeah. But I mean, you know, we're blessed with an incredible team. You know, as you know, Mr. Morgan, you guys would go way back. Oh, it's my know, guy, been, the he's legend. Been, he's been a big part of the plan. You know, our manager, Drex, yeah. uh, Jamie Webster, our creative director, and we just, you know, we communicate really well together. And it took us time to even develop that team and that relationship with those people. So. You know, now that everything is slowly rolling out and uh, we've got these shows lined up, it's just, you know, a matter of time before we get to meet everybody, you know, and we can't wait for that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you brought up my man, Mr. Morgan. I've known him a long time. Yeah. Who's been swinging the Toronto flag for a long time. And now that it's really popping, I want to know what's in the water. In Toronto? Yes, because it's, it's out of, oh y- y- y'all really taking it. Everybody talk about how the South is holding it and been doing it long. I think y'all going to take over the South area in a little bit and it's going to be like, the, it's all going to come from y'all. It just seems like it. Well, you know, I'm just, I'm really happy to be a part of that. You know, I'm really happy with Jordan, you know, that we are a part of that. Mm-hmm. You know, in that yeah. the right moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely like a moment in Toronto right now, a real moment in Toronto where. There's, there, I don't know what it is, but there's something in the water. Is it in the air? Does it, does it feel like y'all like the winning it team? Like it? it might be in the air. It might be <laughs> like in the cold air, you know? Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we, yeah. We make a lot of music inside in the in the winter, so yeah, it might be in the air. Kids like you know they just like getting together and and, and like banging out ideas, man. Yeah. All kinds of kids from all walks of life, you know. So you get an interesting mix of sounds and influences, you know. Like some guy maybe has a hip hop background, some guy maybe has like you know a rock background or a jazz background. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're all sitting together in a room because, you know, neighborhoods are really mixed. And if you're young, you're just hanging out, you know. So it's just mm-hmm. really easy for young people to get their ideas out there and find people that think like them, you know. Something I like about San Francisco as well is that it's super open-minded here. And, like, people are really, you know, creative in the way that they express themselves. Toronto is very much the same. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, it's, it's, it's not only in the air and the water. It's within Toronto and the people that make up that city. What's going on? Tell me about this album, man. This album is the first chapter. Yeah. We're, we're actually working on new music now. So, um, yeah, we were, like, writing a song this morning. So, I mean, like, the, this album, though, it's it's super important uh, to us. And it's it's just, like, letting people in uh, and really starting that journey. Yeah. You know, we, we had an EP before this, but this is really the first chapter of what we're trying to achieve with Master Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so the, the live show is, is really based around this first chapter so even the visuals and everything the music uh the way we're performing it it's it's um it's all with this umbrella with the with this album this theme this setting this mood yeah so yeah and the sold out shows sold out show is crazy i remember waking up yeah and so drex my manager i'm waking up i'm like all groggy i don't know what we were doing the night before out part- partying probably or something <laughs> and we're just like <laughs> we're just like i get up and he's like yo the, sh- the show sold out i was like are you serious it didn't tickets just go on sale he's like yeah they- it sold out in 10 minutes i was like oh my god it's yeah. insane yeah. i cannot wait to perform now you know i cannot wait to see everyone who got up early got those tickets and you know meet them i'm, I'm re- we're gonna put on a good show for yeah. all you guys i hope yeah. i hope you enjoy it you don't see that thing going on tonight at the chapel now we got album out. What's the big dream? What's the one main thing that y'all really want to get done? We really want to create a piece of work, you know, 
that marries visual and sound in in a way that has not really been done before mm -hmm. the dream you know that's the dream yeah. is like taking this this world and like building a world out where we can reference that world through our music and through our visuals that in a way that hasn't been seen before mm. that's really the dream that's the next stage for me you know and building a narrative that connects older projects that somehow reveals itself as the world gets bigger and bigger you know what i mean it's like you're walking through a map you know on like one of those games and like it's all shady and stuff and yeah. like you walk through and like it starts you know revealing and growing that's really the dream no? he's very visual i see mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's even ideas come goes look what we're gonna do is play it out yeah, yeah. No, I, I know exactly what he's talking about too like, <laughs> yeah. that's the dream like i feel like we're the type of artist who um like we we have a understanding with everybody we work with that you know just because you're a musician you don't have to just make music mm. like you can become a soundtrack artist and then you can go into visuals and then you can go into fashion and you know there's so many music is like the hub that we have right now and everything is the dream yeah, that we're gonna yeah. build we just yeah. haven't seen the map on in that game yet you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what's up yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like patience just working hard and just keep going with it yeah and believing in yourself you know that's a big factor believing in yourself even when other people don't really, you know, necessarily see things the way that you do, just understand that, you know, one day it might connect. And in that moment, that's an oh shit moment. You know, yeah. we had that oh shit moment too. We got validated for the music that we made by professionals like Forty and Drake before even our friends really understood what mm. we were doing. You know, so we're going to friends and showing them like, yo, what do you think of this? Like, yeah, that's cool. But like, what else? You know, yeah. and we're going to Forty and he's like, yo, this is crazy. Like, this is insane. What are you guys going to do next? Keep yeah. going. Keep pushing. So, yeah. So just, you know, encouraging uh, people around you and believing in yourself. And, and that's really what we want to achieve in these shows, giving people that moment where they feel welcomed in that venue, listening to our music. I want everyone to feel welcome in that venue. I want everyone to be grooving at the same rate, the same speed, you know, and sharing in that. I think that's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. There it is, man. Going down tonight, the Chapel Sold Out show. Uh, do you want to say to your folks while we're here? Want to tell them something? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for for bringing us out here, man. Like, uh, it's, it's it's crazy. It's a blessing. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate. That's it. too humble, man. Yo, San Francisco, you're a beautiful city. Look thank at you this. for having us. Big Vaughn in the building, a legend on the West Coast. Thank you for having us Shout for our out. first interview yeah, on the West you. Coast, man. Y'all gonna come back many times. I know that already.